Islamic State has been using the Internet to spread its message and recruit sympathizers. And today, the U.S. military suffered an embarrassing blow in the online war. As Michael Couture reports, someone hacked into Central Command's Twitter and YouTube accounts and posted ISIS propaganda. We've all seen the propaganda, but nothing like this. In an unprecedented security breach, YouTube and Twitter accounts for U.S. Central Command were hacked by apparent ISIS supporters. The posts target American soldiers, tweets showing army offices, and the caption, ISIS is already here. We are in your PCs in each military base. The YouTube channel, which normally has videos of American strikes on ISIS targets, instead had two reportedly produced by the terrorist organization. President Obama was about to give a speech on cybersecurity just before the breach, and his press secretary downplayed the hack. There's a pretty diff significant difference between um, what is a, um, a large data breach uh, and the hacking of a Twitter account. While the hackers controlled the accounts, they tormented the U.S. military, posting what appears to be personal information of top brass. Now, Canada has been named by ISIS as a target. Our government's accounts weren't compromised today, and a spokesperson for the Public Safety Department said, While we do not comment on specific or potential threats, the government of Canada is always vigilant in monitoring any threats to Canada or Canadian interests. Government should be very concerned. Former Mountie Gary Clement points out a student was able to hack into the Canada Revenue Agency last spring with the heart bleed bug. So our government needs to take this seriously. Infrastructure is connected through the internet and if they're able to hack in and impact a water supply or electrical grid, this could have devastating consequences. The hacker group Anonymous says it's taking on ISIS in response to the attack on Charlie Hebdo, today crashing a jihadist website in France. Proving cyber warfare makes strange bedfellows. Michael Couture, Global News, Ottawa.